Welcome to Boss Up Babes, helping babes show up, boss up, and thrive. With number one best-selling author, global influencer, and ultimate boss babe, Carissa Adkins. Carissa is a health and wellness expert and CEO of the 365 Daily Hustle, here to help mompreneurs and career-focused women boss up and reclaim their healthiest life. She is a pro at cutting through the BS and inspiring massive breakthroughs that help women create healthy routines and habits that facilitate personal and professional growth. Are you ready to reclaim your best life, take action, and be a badass boss babe? Let's get to it. Oh my goodness, what's up, what's up you guys? Welcome to the Boss Up Babe show. We are a bi-weekly show dedicated to all of you entrepreneurs, innovators, hustlers, and of course, personal development junkies. Uh, if you are looking to show up, boss up, and thrive, ladies, you are in the right place. Now, most of you know who I am by now, but in case you're brand new to the show, I want to say welcome. Welcome to Boss Up Babes. I am your host, Carissa Atkins. I am a weight loss and habit changing coach that helps women create healthy habits that will 10x their health and their life. So if you're looking to get fit, get healthy and become a more confident woman in 2022, I do want to just kind of throw out this offer right here. Uh, it's a get a, a free get fit clarity call. It's a 15 minute um, clarity call that we'll just kind of go over and see if we'd be a good fit, see if I can help help you uh, really achieve those goals. So you can always book that call at 365dailyhustle.com. That's my website. Or of course, you can always DM me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm everywhere. And I personally answer those. I don't let my VAs do any of that. I definitely take great pride in answering all of my DMs. So, oh my gosh, I'm really, really excited for today's conversation um, because it's something that I 100% believe in. And it's something in the last eight years, like the topic, the last eight or nine years, I have really truly come to believe like 100% in. Um, so when I ask potential clients, I'm like, do you ask for what you want? Most people don't. They're like, uh, no, what do you mean? And in fact, right, most people will say like, well, I've just been praying, hoping and like hinting about like what I want and in, in life and my health and in my business. But really, it never really happens. And I'm like, well, you might be doing it all wrong. And if you're not asking, if you're not visualizing it, if you're not trying to manifest this, this life that you want, uh, maybe because you don't know how, today's episode is going to be fantastic for you to listen to. We are talking with law of attraction coach and expert, Tara Chesinski. I knew I could <laughs> screw that up and I even screwed it up probably, um, but she's actually in all the way from the UK. She's out of Isle, Isle of Wight. Um, so we're going to meet her in just a bit. But a uh, quick backstory, I met Tara about six months ago, I think it was like in June, and I actually was on her podcast, which is totally awesome. Her podcast is called Happy, Inspired, Motivated, and we had the best time. Uh, I loved our conversation, and I just love Tara to pieces. She's totally awesome. So with that, let me do a quick bio about her, but you guys, you know, you can read it down below. You can scroll through and, and really just get an idea for who Tara is all on your own. But at the end of the day, Tara supports um, women and she helps them overcome their fears, take back their control and become powerful and successful in their purpose. Um, she helps them really create action um, and, and really level up in life. So she, to me, is a total badass boss babe that helps other women boss up and become the best versions of themselves too. So she is a certified law of attraction practitioner, which I absolutely love that title. She's a coach. And like I mentioned, of course, podcast host of one of the top 5% global shows. 5% global shows her podcast, Happy, Inspired, Motivated. And with that, Tara, welcome to the Boss Up Babe show. Hi, Carissa. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually having a fantastic like month. I don't know about you, but like, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> November is a great month to be in. What can you say? It's just perfect. The weather's good. It's cool. Everything's happening. Everyone's getting really excited for Christmas. And 
yeah, it's all good. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I like that you have the holidays, but if you're like a junkie, like a personal development junkie like me, like I'm always in like a goal planner, I'm thinking this is my best time to like really think about my 2022 goals, where I want to go with professionally and personally and do it. Right. Like, but I love planning it. I just, I'm obsessed with like planning and like laying out the plan on how to get there. And it's just so cool. Um, well, welcome. And, and thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy and your expertise with us. So I like to get the party started with a, like a fun, you know, question of the day. And my question to you would be, how do you stay creative? How do I stay creative? Yeah. Um, well, I like to clear my energy. So I like to go for walks in in a, in a park that's local to me and there is this humongous big oak tree right in the middle of the park and it's mm. I mean it's phenomenal it's been there for years and I like to hold that tree and it it takes all the negative energy away from me and it just leaves me nice and fresh and then I'm open to the universe to download some stuff to me because you know who knows better how to manifest than the universe it knows much more than I do so I like to be open and allow the universe just to flow through me and give me some wisdom and knowledge and hopefully I translate that well when I'm talking to people (laughs) (laughs) I do I love that like I'm open like a just saying that it's like I always say it's like go through a drive-through of the universe put in your order and just let it happen like it really does come to you I mean, you know, it's, 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 you don't have to worry about how something's going to happen. You know, you don't, if you're talking about drive throughs you don't drive to McDonald's, put your order in, and then want to know exactly how they're cooking your burger inside. That's, no. that's minor detail. You just put your order in, you drive around the corner, you pick up your stuff and off you go. And the universe is exactly the same. We're so obsessed yeah. with, oh my God, I have to micromanage every single detail of the how and the universe is like well just hold on a minute I know a much quicker route an easier route a more fun time give me a chance to do it instead (laughs) yes isn't that funny like society's like been we've been trained now to like hustle harder and push through and like grind it out like in all like media and all that kind of stuff but at the end of the day it's like would you find that most women just need to stop doing so much and like just be open (laughs) to like free flow (laughs) Definitely, definitely. I mean, like you say, you have you have to ask for what you want. You know, if you and if you go to a restaurant and you sit down at the table and the waiter comes over and you say, I want some food because I'm hungry, and he brings you literally a French fry, you cannot complain if that's all you've got on your plate because you you weren't specific. You said I want food. It's like I want to be richer, I want to be healthier, I want to be happier. They're fluffy words. Yeah. And they can mean any increment. You know, you can you could find five dollars on the street. And automatically you're richer, but that's probably not what you're looking for. So right. you've got to be specific. You know, you've got to say what ask for what you want, but then allow the universe to bring you some stuff and work some magic because the magic's there if you're going to let it happen. I love that. You guys, these are so I mean, you know, the second half of the show is typically with like all the tips and golden nuggets and the strategies. Um, but she's given to you right now, like if you're really listening. Um, but okay, so I am curious because I know on your podcast, I didn't really have a chance to like get to know your history. You didn't just come out of the womb like, okay, I'm here and I'm ready to manifest and be a law of attraction, you know, expert. So how did you get to where you are today? There's probably some amazing story there. Um, yeah, well, I guess like a lot of women and like yourself, it was the journey that I went through that brought me to this kind of business and this kind of work. So I was in a domestically abusive marriage. I was emotionally and financially abused, not physically abused, um, but still it left a lot of scars on the inside. And at one point I was literally having a, it was a bit like a breakdown. I was sobbing. I was so upset because somebody had said to me, what are you going to do about it, Tara? And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I could do something about this. I, was, I know it sounds really stupid, but I had not even thought about it. I just thought I was in it for life and I had to stay there. So she'd asked me this question. So I went away and I was crying because first of all, I was what an idiot that I'd stayed there. Yeah. And second of all, I was like, why was I, why did I not think I could do something? So I had at that point, I had my hug from the universe, which I think is quite unique. Not many people have had them, although I have heard of some people. Um, And that's for people that don't know what it is. It's basically a massive hug. So it's like 
if somebody comforts you because you're crying and you're upset it was like that but it was like all over my body mm. and I felt warm and I felt loved and I felt safe secure supported mm. and all of those things and I just knew that anything that I wanted I would be loved and supported unconditionally by some force some energy so that's how I started getting more interested in it and researching it, watching the movies, reading the books, taking the courses. You know, I certified as law and attraction practitioner. I did everything because I was just I got quite obsessed about it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm a bit of a nerd. So if, if I need to know something, I want to know everything about it. Now, don't <laughs> leave me. Don't leave me hanging. I need to know all the details. So I was doing I was doing all of that research. And that's basically when I decided that, you know, I need to help other people understand this because this stuff's amazing. It's, mm -hmm. it's magic, but it's real and people just don't know it exists. So that's how I got, that's the shortcut to how I got where I am. I love it. And you guys, we are about ready to take a quick break, but um, Tara, where can people find you? And then we'll come back with those, like I said, those strategies, the, you know, affirmations, mantras, meditation, like everything and anything that has to do with how to attract your best life. And I even think you said something like when um, you can either live a good life, like mediocre, or you could live a freaking great, great life. life. Yeah. And yeah. I'm excited great. to talk about how women can, you know, like live a better life. Nice. And, and some of those strategies that you can learn. So really quickly, tell us where our audience can find you. So obviously I have my website, tarachatzakis.com, which is T-A-R-A-C-H-A-T-Z-A-K-I-S or on Instagram, I'm Tara Chatzakis as well. So. Love that, you guys. And um, what did she say? She said, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> We're going to keep that whole theme going because I think that that's a really powerful statement. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, you guys, we are going to take a quick break. And when we come right back, we're going to pick apart uh, her expertise and really just get into the nitty gritty of law of attraction and how to actually live a great life. We'll be right back. Hey, you guys, we are back and we're talking with law of attraction expert, Tara Tichinsky. Um, I'm going to get it right before the end of the show. Um, but yeah, you guys, we're talking about how to live your best life, like how you can manifest your best life. It's not all like woo woo -y out there. Like you really, truly can have it all like a healthy body, healthy business, thriving life, amazing relationships. Um, and like, you know, all of our experts that we bring on, you guys, we're not like these perfect human beings that come out and we're like, oh, we're going to build great business. Like we've gone through some crap and Tara is no different. She's gone through her crap. She's went through the mud. She's came out of it on top and she is doing her thing. Um, and so let's just kind of dive, continue to dive right into our conversation. So how does this whole, if you're brand new to law of attraction and like manifest it, like these are probably brand new words for some people how does the law of attraction work okay so the law of attraction first of all um let's just clear up what it is because I was speaking to somebody the other day and they thought it was you know you see somebody across a crowded room and you find them physically attractive it's nothing to do with that kind of <laughs> I love it. I love that, first it. of all let's just clear that up so yeah what it, what I explain it or how I explain it is if you have a mirror in front of you <clears throat> And if you look in the mirror, the mirror reflects back you, you uh, externally, what you look like. Well, the law of attraction is like that mirror, but it's reflecting back who you are inside and how you feel inside and your energetic vibration in your body. So all of the things going on inside. So if you are really happy inside and you're full of love and joy, then the universe is, is it's going out to the universe. It hits that mirror. It bounces back to you. And it brings back with it all these other good stuff that are the same loving, joyful, happy energy. And that can be people, situations, experiences. So it's, it's like that kind of situation. So if you're not feeling too good about yourself, you're feeling pretty crappy um, and you've been doing that kind of, oh, I'm not really worthy. I'm not good enough. Um, nobody likes me. I'm too fat. I'm too ugly. I'm too this. That's going out into the universe too. And just remember that's hitting that mirror and it's bouncing back at speed and it's bringing back all this stuff with it just to reinforce that feeling. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're attracting back, you're getting back exactly what you're giving out. So you've got to be really careful about this, these kind of things. And if things have been going pear-shaped for a long time, 
-hmm. just just think that mirror is in front of you and next time you're going through one of those you know pity parties or whatever it is you're saying to yourself just remember that be careful because that's coming back to you a hundred times quicker yes I always say like if that's the like if that's what you're saying verbally or internally would you yeah. say that internally as well? Like, yeah. I think women, we, we wear so many masks of like, oh, my life looks so fantastic on the inside. But if the internal dialogue is just as negative and just as nasty, you know, like who's going to love me? I'm so fat. You, you nailed it. All these things that I know I help clients with, but it's like, if we can learn to quiet it down and change the dialogue, you know, so that that way that's what they're putting out there. But I'm like, you're, you're winning that game. You're playing girlfriend. Like if you are always telling yourself you're fat and overweight and you're never going to be healthy, yeah. like guess what? That's what you're going to get. It's, but it's um, not how changing you, what you say either, is it? Cause if you could, you could turn around and say, okay, I am wonderful, beautiful, happy, and healthy. But if you don't feel like that, if you feel, well, actually that's a lie and you feel really bad still, that's the universe is picking up on that. It's not just the actual words because it knows that you know you could you can say anything you want it's feeling the energy and it's matching that energy because at the end of the day you know you can say i want to be fit happy healthy i want to be a millionaire i want to be this i want to be that but it's not the actual thing it's the feeling that you're going to have when you get to that point of achieving it so it's always the feeling that's coming back to you if you're feeling unhappy if you're feeling low you're feeling happy that's what you're getting back into your universe into your realities it's always about the emotions that's going on in your body not just okay so not just the like that's a myth right then so like not just the words because you can lie to yourself just as easily as you can lie to anyone yeah. else um, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm fine. yeah i'm good i'm good like if you could see the inside it wouldn't be that good, that good so how do you help women tap into that feeling a good way of doing it is you know so if you say, say you want to feel um happier on a daily basis and your situation around you is it's a bit of a, a crap fest there's not a lot going on that's really good yeah you don't have to um be happy where you are to change where you are if that makes sense so you can do what we call anchoring so if you have something that you really enjoy doing maybe like walking the dog on the beach or you know like me going to hug my trees this kind of stuff doing that and getting into the feeling of how happy that makes you feel and using that as a visualization as an emotion that you can tap into even when things are really bad around you mm -hmm. and just switching everything else off just for a couple of minutes and picturing it and feeling it that's mm -hmm. enough to raise your vibrational energy in your body and a high a high vibrational energy packs with it like a hundred times much more impact and amplifies everything a hundred times more than a, a low vibrational energy. So, you know, just a couple of minutes of a high vibration is enough to wipe out like hours worth of negativity. So it's really powerful stuff. So you guys, you don't have to be sitting there thinking about your happy place for like an hour. Um, it can literally just be a couple of minutes every single day. If I had to bet, if Tara, if I asked Tara uh, where this can be done, she would probably say anywhere. <laughs> Yes, exactly. A good a good place to do it actually is if you do it when you wake up in the morning. So before you even get out of bed, if you're you can tap into that energy or you can just be giving thanks for things and be really grateful. That can shift the whole day and make it so much better and happier. And then maybe do it, you know, do a bit of visualization at lunchtime. You know, when you sit on the toilet for two minutes, it doesn't matter yeah. where you are. <laughs> Nobody yeah. cares. The universe doesn't care where you are. And then again, before you go to bed. You know, just do it a couple of times a day like that. And that's enough to shift your reality. Start shifting it in increments. You don't have to be meditating for hours, you know, yeah. and go for the whole woo woo, join a cult and sell all your clothes. It's not, that's not what it's about. Right. And, you know, I do, I do that every morning now that I think about that. Cause it's like 345, the alarm goes off. Like nobody really wants to get up and go work out. So she has the days are getting colder here uh, in the States and things, but I automatically, when I want to hit the snooze, I automatically start thinking, okay, Chris, but how are you going to feel after you work out? How is it going to set the tone for the day? Like you, it yeah. becomes a non-negotiable at that, but you're like, I can't, I can't, you know, like argue with those feelings of how amazing I'm going to feel. And then what happens? I, you know, count down from five and then I get my booty up. But yeah, I always tap into that. Like, how do I really want to be like, you know, it's not the gym. The gym is great, no, but 
it's yeah, the feeling it's that you get afterwards 100 percent. it's always about the feeling and that's what the universe taps into because yeah. feel good things you feel good because it's the right thing mm-hmm. you know your body's like a gps if, if you feel unhappy and it feels bad it's because it's not good for you or it's 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 an untruth that you've mm-hmm. been telling yourself if you tell yourself that you're fat and you're ugly and you're poor and you're this that and the other you feel really really bad Definitely. and that's because your body's going it's not true <laughs> it's not your truth your yeah. truth completely the opposite your truth is happiness and joy and love and abundance and that's what you've got to get into girl that's what your body's screaming at you and your inner soul yeah I love that you guys oh my gosh so so great okay so affirmations like I kind of like them but I definitely don't like do them every day I have you know, like a business or not a business. I don't have a business coach, but one of my business partners on the Living Real TV talk show, she is all about affirmations. So what are your thoughts about affirmations? How do you, what's the best way to like create an affirmation? Like, do they work? What's going on with that? Yeah, affirmations do work. But like we said before, it's 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 the energy that amplifies them. You can say what the hell you like. Like okay. say, if somebody says to you, how are you doing? You go, I'm feeling great, but you're not. You know, so you can say affirmations like, oh, I'm happy and healthy. I'm um, happy, healthy, wise and loved. I'm, you know, I love money. Money loves me. It depends what you want to say, but you have to get into the feeling of it. So no matter what you say, it has to be backed up by your emotions because you're, you know, you can't change the vibrational energy unless you're in a good vibrational energy. And that's what goes out into the world. You know, all this space around us it's it's not space it's unmanifested energy there's it's at there are atoms there there are particles it's not nothing the universe doesn't like empty voids it doesn't leave them so you know you we're touching everything and our energy goes out into the universe and if it hits something that's matching it it's going to it's going to connect them so, you know, if you're feeling, you're going, going, I'm going, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm loved. And you're inside, you're only just going oh, 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 really low. Yeah. Then you're just going to bring back more of that low, drudgy energy back to you, no matter what you're saying. So, yeah, affirmations are fabulous. doesn't matter what you say. As long as, you know, I would say, don't say a negative. So, you know, if you say, for example, I hate being in debt. Mm. Debt is means you're focusing on debt so you're going to get more debt into your life so it's important to use positives for affirmations but whatever it is just really get into the feeling and be like yes I really want this and I'm gonna feel amazing and I love my life and just get all excited yeah I have a funny story about that because I used to like deflect money all the time um so like clients would want to be like okay well how much for your program I'm like oh girl for you like you know like I would just like (laughs) I would just no you know no don't charge I won't charge you for this like no problem because I was like I just (laughs) I just had this thing with money for a long I mean we all have a crazy money mindset story whether we do that or neutral but uh I was working with a coach one time and she was like Chrissy you actually reflect a lot of love anything that brings you a lot of joy and love you like want to push back and you know like just push she goes I don't think it's necessarily money but like that's how you're using it and I was like okay but she said this week I want you to practice receiving anything that good that makes you feel really good and I'm like okay so I'll be honest like I was at the gym and I found a quarter on the floor because she said the same thing she goes don't just like pick up a dollar, you know, pick up a dollar and say, oh, okay, awesome. It's mine now. Like, she's like, feel into, you know, that what that dollar is going to do for you, how you feel when you're just receiving and you're open to receiving this. So I was in the gym and I saw a quarter and I picked it up where normally I would have just, that's not my quarter, right? Like, I don't need to be 25 cents richer. Like, that's how I would have deflected it. But I picked this quarter up and, and I had my headphones in and I was like, I am rich. Oh my God, this feels amazing. And my husband looked at me. He had no idea, but this was me practicing, you know, <laughs> abundance. This was me practicing. We yeah. would have sex, and I'm like, I receive this. This feels so good. And he's like, You're the weirdest woman I know. This is before I was married. But I was like, my coach said I need to practice receiving. But that's how yeah. it's those simple pleasures, like those simple. Yes, you can say the affirmation is what you're saying, but really feel into it, you guys. So if that's you and you're like trying to manifest this amazing, great life. You know, like stop and just stop for a moment and just think about what it gives you, what that moment in time is going to be. It's receiving, you know, like, like people, we, as women, we, we're not very good with receiving like compliments. 
yeah you know you, you look amazing today you're it's always like it's deflected oh oh this whole thing <laughs> yeah this whole thing I bought it for five dollars I don't know oh I didn't do my hair today so it's always pushing away like mm-hmm. you say you have to be open to receiving so try them you can even try it in the mirror give yourself reflect um compliments in the mirror mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just try and see how it feels to accept that and I mean people say to you you look good just say thank you right it's and stop yourself from saying anything else you know? <laughs> I love that so what what's one of your biggest strategies the biggest takeaway that you would want our listeners and people watching to really take away from today's episode definitely get into the energy of um a feel good energy because that's going to change your life completely no matter what you're thinking about no matter what struggles you're going through and what uphill battles you've got just changing your energy a few times a day is going to shift your reality completely because you know a low reality a one that's really sad and makes you unhappy can't resonate with a high vibrational energy and I know we're getting into body energetics here but you know it's Basically, if if the energies don't match, the lower energy has to fade away. So the lower energy is sadness. So if you can get ha- into a happier state more regularly, and like we said at the beginning, life's not, it's too short to be good. It's got to be great. Because you're going to get to the end and think, damn, why did I waste so much time feeling unhappy? Yeah. So, you know, get into that energy and, and you'll start to see shifts happening in your life. Things are going to change. I love that. And you guys, like, just to tap or to, like, add on to that it would be uh you know the choice is yours so you can either stay stuck and you can stay in this state of like meh and woe is me or you can literally choose you know and to choose a different path you don't have to follow the the good life that I'm okay you can go for greatness and you're worthy of that and it feels really good to feel good you guys like every single day it feels good to feel good uh, and I want to just put this back on you if you're listening you know, and you're in this place where you need to change your life. You need to make some shifts mentally, physically, emotionally, whether you contact Tara, you contact me, it doesn't matter who it is, but just realize that you're in control of your dad. Like you really are in control of your energy, your destiny, your goals, like if you're going to achieve them. So I'm going to put this question out to everyone listening. What are you going to do? Um, what did you say at the beginning? What are you going to do about, about it? it? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? If you don't like it, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> the choice Wait, is yours. You have the choice. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Love that. Well, you guys, just a quick reminder, you can listen to all of the Boss Up Babe episodes on over 50 different listening platforms, or you can watch and stream all the episodes on motivationandsuccess.com. And I really do need your help. I am putting this out there into the universe. I would love to see more five-star rating reviews on, on the show. You can, again, do that on Apple, Spotify, Google Play. Like, there's so many places to leave me a review. That would be fantastic so that more people can hear today's episode. You can just simply share it, right? It's the easiest thing to do. So life shouldn't be good. It should be great. Tara, thank you so much for being a guest on my show today. Thank you for having me, Carissa. Absolutely. Thank you for listening to Boss Up Babes with Carissa Adkins, bringing you tangible tips and expert coaching advice to help you boss up and get healthy. Tune in every second and fourth Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For interviews with industry leaders and powerhouse boss babes that will empower you to take action and live your best life. If you're ready to boss up and work with Carissa in one of her transformative group coaching programs, visit 365dailyhustle.com.